Hey guys, I just installed Pays 1.6 ROM and just running through a test through. So it looks like a pretty much standard donut. Press menu to unlock. And basically what he's done as a stock thing, he's installed an advanced launcher which kind of looks like the hero but not really. There's only three home screens in the default home screen and it's just pretty much standard it's pretty fast this one but the cool thing about it is he has used um, what an application called home plus plus let's see let's turn it on so it'll pop up a little menu Let's just use this by default. I'm activating Home Plus Plus. So, what you see right here is down here you see these little icons. Um, you can scroll around them, and it's pretty cool actually. Um, they're all they're all widgets, and this widget is the contacts widget favorites favorite widget and this is the voice dialing widget oh that's the search one this is the voice dialing one voice dialing this is the browser And multi-touch does work on this ROM. Just let it load for a while. And I'll demonstrate the multi-touch once it's almost done loading. Okay, should be good enough. Let's see. There you go. It's kind of slow still, still loading up. Hmm. I guess it's still loading then. Progress bar is up there. Just wait for it. There you go. Multi touch zoom in. This website has got a lot of stuff on it, so pretty big pictures and stuff like that, so that's why it's taking a while, but multi touch does work on it. Yep, yeah, there you go. Kind of slow at first, but that's because the website is a pretty big website to load. Go home. Hmm. There you go. That took a while. And what the neat thing about this is that you can customize the number of screens you have by holding it down, holding uh, your finger down, and clicking screens. And basically, it'll just tell you, give you some options on. Uh, how the screen loads. You can change the number of screens. I have seven right now, but you can just change it to any amount seven, six, five, four, or three. I chose seven because I don't know, I just like having a lot of screens open. So you just click seven. And there's also a thing called a switcher on this uh, ROM. What you do is click the menu button down and basically it just pops up every home screen on the phone so you just click one of these boxes and it'll go go to it and it just 3d magic looks cool 
and there's a little progress bar down at the bottom where you're scrolling right there right there and you can you can scroll this scroll bar over and notice that there isn't a notification bar at the top you can turn on the notification bar by holding down the there's a notification tab right here and it pops up right there you hold down that button to disable and enable it you can click that and it will just display the notification bar notice it's transparent and here's a bookmark tab just bookmarks scroll over and here's like a tax manager type of thing you can there's a lot of little here's the end all button refresh and show ignored these are the, all the processes that are running if your phone ever slows down you can always just close them just click the little X right there click a little X right there terminate it then just click that to get rid of it and down here is your date and your time you can click this little icon right here it's the volume button you can have sound enabled sound disabled or vibrate and here's your Wi-Fi settings you click the little settings and it brings you to your Wi-Fi and if you click the little bars button it brings up the wireless controls such as Bluetooth internet tethering right there airplane mode Bluetooth stuff like that you click the little battery icon right there brings up your battery use tells you everything what's been draining your battery stuff like that click the date it brings up the calendar Just click a date, set an appointment, st standard stuff. Click your time right there. Well, it says application not installed on my phone yet. Well, this is uh, just a clean install. I haven't installed anything else except uh, the Home Plus Plus launcher. Settings, pretty much standard. Standard stuff. It's a donut build, by the way. Pays ROM 1.6. And it's pretty much. And there's like a lot of widgets he's used. Like analog clock and these other little things. Let's see. You can always uh, go back to, let's see, you can change your wallpaper to anything you want. Just the standard wallpapers, stuff like that. And messaging is pretty much the same. pretty standard I haven't imported anything yet and you can always change your settings on your notifications stuff like that Contacts is based on Wizzy's 2.8 contact list, and all I've done is just simply import it, and that's pretty much it. And 
that's a video of that.